All right, I'm gonna shake it up really good. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining me today. We are going to have tons of fun. We're doing some pendulum art. Pendulum art. Has anyone ever done that before out there? If you have, let us know. If you haven't, let us know. We're super excited to be back. We have people joining us from Florida, Texas, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Michigan. So if you're out there watching, hello, it's Mr. C. Not just that, India the other day. Yeah, Pakistan. yeah, people from overseas, Our Australia. Friends. It's awesome. And so that's what this is all about, is that we bring our community of learners together. So let's get into the swing of things. But do all right, we have here in front of me this homemade contraption that I built. And I want you to look at this and I want you to say to yourself, I don't have one of those. And if you don't have one of these, it's okay. You don't need one of these to do this experiment because all you need is some sort of pole that connects two things so that you can suspend some string to build your pendulum, okay? So you can do this outside, off of a tree branch. You can do this inside using a broomstick. We just built this so that we could show you what's going on and then you expand it and you make it yours because that's what this is all about. I feel like I'm in a box today. Like I'm like, hello. So this is a pendulum and a lot of you may know what pendulums are. Or maybe you've seen them before. And typically most pendulums, like uh, we have a grandfather clock in the house, those pendulums swing back and forth. So I'm just gonna let it swing this way, whoop, back and forth. So they're on one like plane, they're swinging in one direction only. This pendulum here is slightly different. Um, this pendulum is attached up here at our pivot point. This is actually the weight, the mass, right? So right now, all I have is this uh, cut apart, looks like a ketchup bottle, and I attached it at three points using the string and rubber bands so that I could put um, a bigger object in here and we'll, we'll share some of those things. But what's really cool about pendulums is the oscillation. So the time it takes for a pendulum to make one full swing is called a period. All right, so I'm gonna let this go. My stopwatch is actually connected to my, it's on my camera and my camera is being used to film the video today so I can't use my stopwatch, but I'm gonna do one 1,000, two 1,000 and we'll get an estimate, okay? Here we go, I'm gonna let it go. One 1,000, two, so almost two seconds. And because we have a single pivot point up here, when I do it this way, one, one thousand, two, it's essentially the same, right? So this is going to create, this can go in any direction. That's what's cool about this pendulum. It can actually swing in any direction. And the way I built this, I can actually make it lower or make it higher depending on what I wanna do. So what do we do with this? We're gonna make some art. And how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. We're going to take some craft paint washable tempera paint. I have different colors. Uh, the yellow and the red are different brands. And I've noticed that depending on the brand, the thickness, you have to kind of work to get the right thickness and the right flow for your pendulum. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour a little bit of yellow into my pendulum. And look, I have a cap here on it still. I'm just going to do a little bit. Of, ooh, it goes clumpy. <laughs> I thought I shook it up really well this morning. But the ratio that I've been using is almost like a one-to-one. -one. So one part paint, one part water. And then what we have to do is we have to just test it to see kind of what kind of flow we get. Oh, I'm gonna need some. And if you don't have paint, you can just use water outside, right? Yeah, if you don't have paint, you see that clump that I had in there? It's stuck. Oh, Mr. C. All right. I got an idea. First, I need a paper towel. Just so I don't get this all over my lab coat. Yeah, if you don't have paint, or if you don't wanna do paint because you're afraid it's gonna get messy, go outside and just use it with water. And it's cool, because on a nice warm day, you'll make a pattern, and that water will evaporate and you can do it over and over again. So, I'm gonna use my other container. You can see it's different. Um, but I'm using a rubber band 
And if you're looking at this, the rubber band, I just tie these three strings here. And what I like about it is I can get it balanced very easily. So we're gonna try the red. And look at this, look how I made this. I took a, a glue top and then I poked a hole into the bottom of it. And then now I can control the flow of paint with my glue cap. So I can make a bigger stream, a smaller stream, or I can just pour it in and it won't go anywhere. All right, I'm gonna shake it up really good. Oh my gosh, we have paint. <laughs> I thought I capped the lid. Oh my gosh. Well, you saw it here. Oh my gosh, it's a mess. Is that gonna come off everything? I know, that's what I'm nervous about. All right. <laughs> We're gonna, do you think that's gonna come off? It's Yeah, it's washable paint, I think. Is that the one? That's not permanent paint, is it? I don't think, I hope not. Oh my gosh. So what we're gonna do is, one, I'm gonna put this, I have paint everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get on the camera, did I? Did I get on your computer? Yeah, it's on the computer. I got it on the computer. All right. All right. We'll be right back. It's science time. So, back to our pendulum art. Sorry about that interruption. All right. So what we're gonna? I don't know what's going on. But I, I tested this, we're gonna test it again. And then when you shake your paint at home, make sure, <laughs> make sure that you um, cap those lids. So they are mentioning that they can't hear you as good. Okay, so if you can't hear me, we had to move the camera back a little bit. You may have to turn the volume up on your camera, um, not your camera, on your computer just a hair. And that's because we had to move things back. I'm kind of glad we did, otherwise the camera may have been covered in that also. But so, I'm gonna get some more glue, not glue, paint in here. And I'm trying to run this through. So it's, yeah, I'm not sure why it's jammed right now but we're just gonna kind of migrate to doing it another way. I've got a couple of options. So I'm, it's, even though it's not working, it's kind of good it's not working because we can walk through how to get it to work. So I have these little cups, these little Dixie cups, and we're gonna use a Dixie cup here. Perfect. So it holds there also. So I'm gonna take this thing and I'm going to poke a hole into it. I'm actually going to poke it downwards so that my liquid flows out easily. So I've got a little hole on the bottom. Now the problem here is when I pour the liquid in it's going to want to run out automatically so I'm going to have to hold it with my finger. All right we need something to go right today. Here we go. It's not perfect, it's not perfect. So I didn't push it very hard. All right, still things are not wanting to work. I'm gonna make the hole a little bit bigger, being really careful with my finger. And now I'm gonna push it again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we go. Why? Oh, it's dripping now. It's dripping, but it's not dripping like it should drip all right here we go oh, this is like the messiest thing I've ever done and I've done messy things before all right I'm gonna bring this back over I'm gonna let this pour out while that's pouring out we're gonna try something I'm gonna take this under hot water and run hot water through this 
So if you're watching, and you probably see me running the water through, why do you think it's not working? What do you think's going on? There we go, there's a nice stream. We got some suggestions that people said to make it thin, run the water through. Someone else looked at that it looks like a planet. Oh, it does look like a planet, doesn't it? We're going to get some good artwork going here in a second. I appreciate you guys being patient with me. The worst part is, is that it's so messy this time. Like usually when I'm done, I can take my artwork and literally just hang it up and it just dries pretty easily. Ooh, Sarah, nice. It did look like Saturn. I don't mean to crumple up my artwork on this one, but it's super runny. So I'm gonna get a new piece of paper and a new I'm going to set this right here. I have a bucket in the sink. I am making a mess. Look at this. Is that one next to you? Huh? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This will all come clean. The magic behind the show is that after we're done working with you guys, look at I'm just a mess. It takes us about a half an hour to 45 minutes to clean up on a normal day. Today, easily, it's going to take longer than that. All right, here we go. I'm gonna add a little, I'm gonna thin this out even more. We saw the water running through it when I was at the sink. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. We were just struggling today. I'm all flustered from shooting paint all over the kitchen. It's just paint. It is just paint, it'll clean up. We hope. All right, I'm gonna close this. The, cab <laughs> the cabinets still work. That's right. We can always paint them again. All right. Here we go. So, we're going to try this again. The eighth time is the charm. I'm not even sure how many times we've tried it yet. I can't wait to see your guys' pendulum art in a mess you make at your house. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, it's running out now. It's running Okay, we're going to... I want a new sheet of paper. And here's why. It's gonna be beautiful. All right, I'm gonna open up slightly. And there's already paint on it. Here we go. All right, so it's, it's circular and I'm gonna stop it and watch this. I'm gonna bring it this way. Now that looks like a planet. I don't know, what do you think it looks like, guys? So these oscillations, these movements, and that's what I like about this is I can cap it and close it and then I can have my artwork just as I want it. And that looks really cool. But this pattern, it's called Elisa juice, okay? Elisa juice pattern. And you can make all sorts of different patterns with this. I'm gonna lift this one up. I'm actually gonna let this one try to dry. I'm gonna put another sheet underneath it. Back here, by little C. That looks cool. So my, the consistency of my, ah, oh, the consistency is a little thin and that's why when I move it, it's, it's acting up, but let's try that again. All right, so we got a little bit of motion going. Oh well. <laughs> so I'm gonna spin it. I'm gonna have it just go kind of like, I want it to go like an ellipse, elliptical pattern. And then I'm gonna stop it again. Actually, I want it to go in a full circle. But see, my paper is rectangular, so I have to, here we go. So think about, you practice the push before you do it. So like, that's not enough. There we go. All right, here we go, here we go. In three, two, one. So it's a real big circle. It's really runny right now, and it's just gonna all bleed together. And then, let's have a big circle, or another ring again. I'm gonna make a smaller one. I want a different color, but the yellow 
was clumpy. I know what we can do. I'm going to pour out some of my red. I'm not going to shake the yellow again. We have already saw what happened with that. Don't drop a clump in there. Don't drop a clump. Did you see the clump? We're going to see if we can get a little bit of orange going. Mix that up. Now we have orange, yellow, and red make orange. And I can do small little rings inside. It's really, really runny. All right, so <laughs> my artwork isn't as pretty as I wanted it to be today. But I'm going to do another one because I think that's a good consistency. I'm going to try a skinnier stream. I'm going to fold this up. I hate to destroy it, but if I try to move it, it's going to make a big mess. Look how runny it is. I'm going to encourage everyone to try this outside. This is, feels... It's not, has it ever been this messy when we've done this? No, it hasn't. She said yes. No, it hasn't. Oh, oh my gosh. All right. And I've been doing so well with not using paper towels while we've been at home during this time. Well, somebody asked if you can make a star. Make a star? Yes. We can make a star, but we'll have to be really creative when we do it. I need to clean this up a little bit. Where did our... There we go. Are you guys having fun? <laughs> I am. I know it looks like it's kind of crazy on set today. It's absolutely because it is. Things are just kind of crazy. And, uh, but I kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. I know I'm going to have a big mess to clean up later. But half the fun is really going through this and, and showing you guys that it's learning science is not always easy. But when you stick with it and you figure it out, that, that is the fun part. That's where the learning takes place, right? Like I learned today that you really should close the cap before you shake it on a bottle filled with paint. And if you're out there watching this and you thought that was funny, give Mrs. C a shout out. She's always so pati patient with me and lets me do all this stuff here at the house. So kudos, Mrs. C. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to try to make a star. And I'm going to... I'm going to just let this uh, pendulum swing once this way, stop it, I'm going to bring it over here, stop it, bring it over here, and stop it. And then we're going to put a circle in the middle of it. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. All right. Here we go. It's kind of hard. And what's really cool is a pendulum works because of gravity. So there's potential energy here. The higher I lift it, the higher or the farther it's gonna swing out, but it's gonna come back to essentially the same spot. If I do it here, it'll do the same thing. And what's really cool is eventually this pendulum comes to a halt because gravity's pulling down on it. We have all sorts of friction that's happening. And so the system eventually runs out of energy. It goes, it's being converted from potential to kinetic. And over time, it's losing potential energy as it comes up. And so the kinetic energy slows down as well and it comes to a stop in the center. All right, here we go. Someone said that they get like glue and then put glitter on it. I like that idea. All right, there's... Oh, that looked cool right there, you see it? Whoa. You know what it's starting to look like? A butterfly. It does look like a butterfly almost. I was thinking more like um, an atom. Oh, that looks cool, right? That's cool. I'm going to close that. That's worth keeping right there. Because I think we can salvage that. I think I can get that moved over here without losing it. Oh, every time I move something, it just makes more of a mess. <laughs> All right, so what I want to talk about is this system is hooked onto a single pivot right? So that's why this can swing in any circular motion. It can go in any direction that we want it to because it's on a single pivot point. 
And that means that this period, the time it takes to swing from this side to that side and back is the same as when I do it from here. All right, so I can one, 1,000, two, one, one, 1,000, two, one, essentially the same amount of time. But what we're gonna try is I have another system built right here and I'm gonna pop the center piece out and I'm gonna put this one in. And this one is a little bit different, I wanna talk about it. And I'm not sure how the art's gonna turn out because we're having issues with some of the paint, but let's do that. It's gonna take two seconds to switch this out. About more art we do our spray bottle. We have to clean things up because we make a mess and we never get enough. Sorry. We got a big old mess in Mr. C's house. <laughs> That's what it's all about. All right. So now I want us to look at this system that I just hooked up. It's a little bit different. All right. It's like nothing ever happened here. So what I have here, we're building this out the same exact way. Got to make a new cup. And I think I know why these aren't working. It's because they're not wax lined. They're just paper cups. And so what's happening is my paint, it's causing, I just realized that it's causing the, um, the paper to get mushy really fast and it's basically sealing the hole back up. So it's not wax coated. So we're gonna try something. I don't know if this is gonna be wide enough. I think I can make it wide enough. We're gonna try something. So. What I have here, if we look at this, can we see this right here, Mrs. C, on the camera? Cool. So instead of it being a single access point, a single pivot point right here in the center where it could swing. Now I could take this back up there. I want you to look at this. This one behaves the same way, right? If I have it just like that. But because I have these two other parts, the string starts to swing differently. When I swing the string this direction, all right, you can see that this entire piece moves just like it did before it's connected but when i swing it this direction it changes do you see that so we, what we can do is we can actually do our timing so we can do one one thousand two one thousand so i'm going to start this here <clears throat> one one thousand two one it's about the same as the other one was but now this time i'm going to do it one one thousand two it was quicker do you see that so this period is shorter than this period, all right? So the question is, is will that change our art? And I'm hoping it will. And I'm hoping I'm able to make it work so that we can have some different looking art. Where is the paint coming from? It's just like all over. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna try this. And I built this one a little bit differently because I was gonna use the little Dixie cup, the little paper cup, but that cup, now that I know what's going on with it, isn't working very well. So we're gonna try this with a bigger one. So I'm gonna poke a hole into the bottom. It's, it's a big hole, too big, that's too big. I've gotta do this carefully. Perfect. I've never seen a more perfect hole in my life. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I built this with string. I added some washer, excuse me, some hex nuts. And then I have this paper clip so that I can make it look like a bucket, like a handle. And I'm just going to come over here. And I, it's pretty brittle, the plastic. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it through the top. All right, work for us. We need something to work today. If not, we'll have to work on this after. Get it to work. All right, we're close, we're close. I gotta extend this. I wish I had smaller plastic cups. All right, so it's centered. I'm not sure what it's gonna do. I'm nervous that it's going to wanna fall off and then we're gonna make a really big mess again. But at this point, does it matter? Well, someone suggested a K cup. That's a really good idea, we have. which we actually have. K-cups would actually work really well. 
So I taped that on there so that this hopefully will hold it. Now let's see if it swings. Okay. Definitely shorter. And what I'm gonna do is because our space is so much bigger now, I'm gonna tear off another sheet of paper. I feel like this is a real science lesson today. Like things are just happening and yeah. That's how my classroom used to be. It'd be like, oh, this is gonna work perfectly. And then make a big mess. So, oh, can you see how it's swinging? That's so cool. All right, here we go. I wonder what the pattern is gonna be. That Get these hex nuts back in the center. I'm gonna tape those in the center so that they stay balanced. All right, here we go. I'll put my finger on the bottom so it doesn't run out. Let's see if we have water. All right, here we go. Gentle push. Oh, that's cool. That's totally changing the pattern, how it's moving. Oh my gosh. And then I'm just going to catch it like that because it will just run into this cup. That is awesome. That looks totally different than the other ones. Did you see the change in motion? It went and hooked and then it kind of like, and then went back. It almost looks plaid. It does look plaid, doesn't it? It looks like I see an oval and then it, it's starting to do the star shape in it. Let's give that one another try. I'm going to just set that. Well, I can't set it there. It's going to want to shoot everywhere. <laughs> Gonna want to drip. I'm gonna slide this out towards all the equipment. Look at that. So what we're gonna do? I want to use a different color. We've used the orange and red and yellow. We're gonna do one more. I know that we've been on for a long time today, making a big mess. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Let us know. When we have days like this, I always fear that you guys are like, "Oh, what's happening?" Mr. C. All right, we're doing hot pink. We're gonna add some water to thin it out. I'm wondering if, now we're gonna have a little bit of orange in there still, because I'm gonna use the same cup. That'll be okay. Oh, that's way too thin. That's just gonna pour out. Let's add a little bit more paint. All right, so my measuring skills today are just kind of ballparking and eyeballing it. Oh, our friend Debbie quoted, this is critical. <laughs> take chances, make messes, or make mistakes get messy. Mrs. Frizzle. Thank you for sharing that. Take chances, make mistakes get messy. It's so true. The worst thing that can happen here is it doesn't work. That's the worst thing that can happen. Ooh, someone said, what if we layer the paint? Will the colors change automatically or just mix together? Oh, like if we add it to that? Yeah, I don't know. There's lots of ways you could mix it. Oh, yeah. I love having my little scientists out there helping us out. try an E. Maybe make it like an E shape. An E shape? All right, I think, I think I know what that person might be trying to say. Maybe, like, if I swing it like this, like a... All right. That's something you can play with all day. Yeah, you really can play with this all day. This is just, one, you're making a little bit of a mess, but... Outside with water would be. Uh, yeah, outside with water. Oh my gosh. I am not thinking today. <laughs> Don't start laughing again. We can't do that today. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, my beautiful artwork. And now I can't put it on the counter. Oh my gosh. <sighs> it doesn't dry as fat. The other stuff was so much thicker. All right. <laughs> it's like we're starting over after every attempt. Every attempt is a new challenge. Oh my goodness, thank you for being there with us today. 
I know it looks stressful. It's because it kind of is, but it's not. I'm, I'm just making a huge mess. All right. I really want to do the pink. I was so excited to do it. I should have slid it out this way and not try to lift it. Did you think when we installed this kitchen, it was gonna, this was going to happen to it? No. No. All right. <sighs> so when we upload this to YouTube, it'll be like the snippets of the good parts, not all the mistakes. The mistakes are for you guys, for the live people who join us. You get to see what it's really like to be in the kitchen, learning at home with Mr. C, making a mess. I know I have all sorts of teacher friends out there, students, former students, all of our new friends that have joined us every day this month. And now, this is for you. You guys have been so patient, so awesome. pieces underneath it to help catch the mess. <laughs> All right. All right, so we have another test going on here because we have a new color. And I don't know if the consi what the consistency is going to be like just yet. If it's going to want to pour out nicely. All right, pour a little bit in. We've got our catcher cup. It's running out. Here we go. I'm gonna do the E thing. I'm gonna kinda push it here slowly and see what it does, all right? In three, two, one. So it definitely is giving us a similar shape as it did last time. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is amazing. I think we're gonna have to stop on that note today. Okay. Success. Success. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Oh my gosh, that was fun. That was so much fun. And here's the thing. If you build one of these, try it with a single pivot point. Try it with this. What if we change the length of this here? Would that change how this behaves? What if we make this shorter? Does that now change this period and does that change our artwork these lisa juice are awesome look at these this is so cool that is actually something i'm going to take a picture of and i'm going to share it because that is beautiful i want to see your guys' artwork that's my challenge to you get outside have some fun and do some pendulum art and if you make a little bit of a mess it should be okay always ask your parents obviously if you're using paint and things like that in the house you don't want to make a mess and, and get something like all over your kitchen counters and walls and things like that because it's harder to clean up sometimes. 